Number three, always make sure that the surgeon or the surgical practice that you're looking into only specializes in hair restoration. You would be really surprised to hear how many surgical practices or doctors actually perform other cosmetic procedures. So one day they'll do breasts, one day they'll do noses, another day they'll do liposuction, and then by the time your surgery comes around that week, they'll finally do hair. Uh, that's one of those things where, you know, if you were going to look at any other medical procedure, like if you wanted to do something for a heart valve replacement, you would go to a cardiologist to do that. You wouldn't go to someone who is a general practitioner. You wouldn't go to a doctor who studies or practices other kind of medicine. You want to specialize only in that specific thing that you're looking to do. And in this case, in hair, only look at a hair uh, restoration surgeon who specializes only in hair. Kind of a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised, you know, of other what other things a lot of uh, surgical practice market and brand themselves as. So yeah, with that said, let's move on to number four.